One of my very favorite topics outside of just running in general, one of my favorite running adjacent topics, if you will, is how people figure out what they're gonna wear for a race or a long run and how they go through that thought process. Um, I love discussing this with my friends. If a runner will let me pick their brain, I always ask this. I really enjoy when elite athletes show this on their social media and my very favorites are trail runners and people who have to have a lot of gear and how they figure that out. So this is my thought process, which disclaimer, I'm no pro, but I have been running a while and I have dialed it. I have, I have dialed it in quite a bit for me. So the first thing I always do is check weather. It's gonna be about 55 degrees. So I've chosen a short sleeve tech shirt. My very favorite tech shirts for years now, and not just because I'm a suburban housewife, are Lululemon Swiftleys. Um, they have very few seams. I've never chafed in a Swiftly. I love the fabric. It's super moisture wicking. I also find it to be flattering. I'm vain too. And uh, I have these in both short and long sleeves because they're just my very favorite shirt. I am wearing a 7 8 pant tomorrow. Um, just because that's what I pull out of my drawer. I have my underwear picked out and I have my sports bra and I have those stacked in the order I'm gonna put them on because it's 6.30 in the morning, no matter how much motivation I have on any given day of the week to run. When that alarm goes off, I just, I don't want to. So I eliminate as much excuses as I can. One of those being <laughs> having to pull clothes out of my drawer and look at the weather then and make those kinds of decisions. So I'm stacking these on my nightstand and now I'm gonna get my toiletries ready. This is my bathroom counter. I pulled some things out because again, like my clothes, I always lay out what I need before so that I don't forget anything. Most important not to forget is I put on body glide. This is my body glide, my foot glide. Um, because I'm nursing injuries, I'm gonna put some biofreeze on my knee before I put pants on. And then um, I also have my Aleve out because I am taking that before runs per my PT right now. Um, something I'm kind of testing out on runs right now is the best sunscreen for my face. And I have two tinted sunscreens right here um, that have been okay. This is a beauty counter and this is Drunk Elephant. SPF 20, this is SPF 30. And um, I don't feel like wearing a tint tomorrow, although I do on some days. This Glossier, I've loved for a long time, but lately when I've run with it, this is SPF 35. Um, I ran with it in my half last week and found it to be a little bit greasy. So tomorrow I'm trying this Herborian CC Cream. I've worn it as a primer a few times before. It is SPF 25. Um, and I think this is actually gonna be a pretty good option. Uh, SPF on my face every day is super important, even though I live in the Pacific Northwest. And uh, it's been a while and I don't remember what I used to like to run with. So I'm trying a few new things. And now I am setting my alarm. I'm gonna set one for 6.40 and 6.50. I remind myself at 6.50, I have about 10 minutes to drink coffee. I don't like drinking coffee within an hour of running. So my morning is not going exactly as planned. I got up on time, but I poked around and realized that there was nothing at the house that I really wanted to eat for breakfast. I try to eat um, a serving of carb, a serving of protein, a serving of fat before a run. And I didn't feel like making anything and I didn't have anything quick on hand. So I'm in the car with a banana and, um, and a Starbucks sous vide egg bite. And because I'm eating so late, I'm not drinking coffee. I hate going to the bathroom on a run and drinking coffee within an hour will do that to me every time. So, I'm gonna have to rely on the caffeine in my chews and get my first cup of the day after my run, which will be fine. I'll live, I've done it before. 
So I have exactly three minutes to eat before I need to head to Portland Running Company. Um, I'm going to their Southeast Grand location and we're starting from there. I, uh, my, my body from the waist up feels pretty good, but, um, my knee is a little achy this morning and I, um, have something going on in my left foot. So we're going to make it work. We're going to have a fun run. It's a beautiful day. I'm ready to get out. Um, 7.32, I have to finish my breakfast. Liz! <sighs> Almost to eight miles. Woo! That's awesome! You got four miles to go, that's nothing, Liz. I know, I'm feeling really good. I paced myself really good in the beginning. Uh-huh. So, I have a lot of steam left over. Yes. So I'm trying to pick up the pace a little bit in the back end. Okay, Liz, yeah. I'm so proud of you. You're doing great. Thank you. Have fun at your run, okay? I will. Get it, Liz. You too. Okay, bye. Bye. special because we're going to the hospital where I had my fourth. I'm really excited to run up there. and I have no idea how. This is beautiful. <laughs> this is brutal. But so beautiful. This is the exact same drive we took to deliver my fourth in the hospital. <laughs> and to be able to run this a year and a half later is really, is really special. One mile to the top.
anyone is worried, I just got my coffee. <laughs> Thank you.